to begin with, the client agent relationship was a very special one. If the agent was good at what they did and cared about the specific person that they were representing, they were doing something for that person that the writer, director, or actor could not do for themselves the way a doctor or a lawyer uh, is related to a client. And therefore, the client is very dependent uh, on the agent because they don't know who they're talking to or what they're saying or how is it going. And, and it's a whole out there thing that the agent is involved in and the client isn't. So it's a very trusting, or should be, and uh, or, or was. It isn't always, and wasn't always then, and is, is less today. But I, for instance, uh, people have managers as well as agents, and a manager sort of oversees an agent, and a manager is uh, more personally involved usually. I would never, in all the years that I was an agent, never represented anyone who had a manager. I felt that I was doing all of those things that needed to be done and had to be done, and I didn't want a manager looking over my shoulder. So at one time, later on, I was managing, I was agenting um, Paul Apprentice and Dick Benjamin, who were married. And they told me that they were hiring a manager. And I said, well, you hire the manager, you lose me. I won't represent you if you have a manager. So that's the way I felt in general. And I felt about being an agent that I was, I was really uh, very important to the person in terms both of their personal relationship, which was very close. We, I always had a very close relationship. And, and also in the job that I was doing, my, my contacts with the uh, studios, uh, in the, people believed what I said about a client. And that was my, the best thing I could have as, as an agent. That when I represented someone and came to a studio and talked to them about this person, they believed what I said, and that is that is the most important thing an agent can have. There's nothing else that's that that's that important that they're telling the truth, and that they only I only represented people that I did believe in, that I thought I could uh, talk about with great enthusiasm and for the right project because. You have to have a sense of where they belong, of what, of, for instance, the Christopher Isherwood thing. That would have been good for Christopher to do. He would have been right for that project. And you have to know the difference between what one person can do well and not do well. And you don't recommend them for something they can't do well if you're a good agent. Where does that come from, that ability to do that? I don't know. It comes from experience and judgment. Uh, it comes, it's the same thing a good executive of any kind has. They know who the people are who work for them, who the people who can do certain, who are good at certain things. And they, and they manage to hire people because those people are doing things that will reflect in the end on them. Uh, that's what good producers do. 